Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning into this video on Nico's Aquatics. I am your host Nico. And I thought I'd do a quick video here before I go to bed. I'm pretty tired right now. Uh, with this time change, it makes it feel like it, it's later than it is. Um, with the, you know, it's still light out, but I'm like, whatever. But, um, <laughs> this will be kind of a uh, laid back video. Um, just kind of an introduction to me. I did that on my old channel channel uh, when I started uh, doing Nico's Aquatics over there, which used to be called DJ Bootleg TV. Like I said, also did music uh, stuff as well. <clears throat> um, and I had a massive following over there. Uh, I mean, some of the videos are still up. Some of them are private because I'm not happy with them anymore. Just because I was a different person back then, uh, to be honest. Um, I'm more of myself now, more, um, more mature, I, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, I have a son now, so I'm much more mature in the way I talk and everything like that. Uh, so that's why I want to go ahead and, like on this channel, I easily could just take, take the videos over there and bring them over here. Uh, because the information is good. I just don't like the way I talk and I act in the videos. <laughs> Uh, so I figured, you know what, let me just private all those videos and I still know the information uh, and just private them and just basically redo them better, uh, a better way over here on this channel. Uh, so it's, it's just picture for a second for those people who don't do YouTube, just picture for a second having a video seven years ago, having uh, over 280,000 views right 280,000 um and having to to basically and this is all my fault you know I should have kept with it and then transferred over on there if I would have kept with it over there and then said hey I'm subscribe over to my new channel Nico's Aquatics dedicated to just aquatics that would have happened but what happened was I I was steady I was steady for a a, a good probably two three years there was no fish take stuff coming and then every time i would post a video because i got more into politics uh, and started my website real um and i kind of pushed that in the background i've always had at least one tank and we'll get over to that in just a second um but you know if i if i had done it right then i could i could have those two thousand subscribers over here uh, and everything but n no matter what my fault i take on own uh, ownership of that and i will definitely get my channel back to where it was even even beyond that honestly uh, and i have no doubt of that it's just a matter of time uh, and patience and being steady on youtube that's how it works in anyway how i built all my other channels but um just stick for a second, like, let me get back to what I was saying. Uh, just picture having a, a bunch of videos, at least over 20,000. Yeah, I have, like, 20,000, 35, 80,000, 250,000. It's like, whoa. So, I mean, <laughs> it, and, and it keeps going, too, man. Ah, oh, yay, yay. It's crazy. But just picture having that and then coming over to a new channel and people, you know, telling you, like, dude, you're a noob. You have one tank, you don't know anything about cichlids or live plants, you know, and where you don't know anything, you're new around here. <laughs> no, man. I've been doing aquatics basically since I could walk and talk, you know, with, with my father got me into it. So, and I've been going to my LFS, my local fish store, uh, since I was a kid, and I just visited him today. Shop's still going strong, he's nice, I, I fucking love him, man. Um, I went in there today and I didn't really need anything, but I want to support the business because of all the coronavirus shit going on. I know a lot of people aren't coming in. So I just picked up a couple shrimp and a couple autos that I needed, um, just to kind of give him some support during all this. Uh, cause he always gives me great deals anyway. So, and if you're in Tampa, it's West Side Pets and Aquariums. Um, I think that is on, uh, Dale Mabry, I think it is. Just, just Google West Side Pets in Tampa and you'll aquariums, boom, you'll see them. And the store owner name store owner name is Paul. So he always hooks you up. He already has healthy stuff and underpriced and fantastic. But <clears throat> again, guys, this video is just to kind of reintroduce myself to those that, who don't know me. 
because I have a feeling that the old subscribers are not going to come back. So I'm treating this as if I am talking to you, a new viewer. Um, whoever's watching this, thank you again. I appreciate that. Uh, aquatics is my passion. Um, my passion that I love in my heart first, besides, you know, God and my, my son, is aquatics. I absolutely love fish tanks. I love it. I love the breeding. I love the breeds. I love decorating them and, and aquascaping them and being able to just change everything overnight. You know, a gravel to sand and, you know, an, an, un, an unnatural Walmart decorated tank to driftwood and live plants. Like, natural look. I absolutely love that. I love talking about it. I have a guy in my training class right now. I just started a new job. Real cool guy. But you could tell he doesn't give a shit about uh, <laughs> aquatics. So it's like, oh, I don't have anyone to talk to. So that's, part of, again, part of the reason why I'm doing these, this, this channel. Um, so I, I want to talk to, uh, about it. That's why I got this channel. I want to help people first and foremost. Because uh, everybody is an aquatic expert until you really you know dive in really ask those questions um and with me i have again let me just go down my credentials um i have been into aquatics for 20 years i'm uh, tw almost 29 years old uh so 20 years um i bred uh, anywhere from uh, shrimp um go shrimp and then like exotic shrimp um neo shrimps uh, i have sold uh freshwater plants i had two i had a 20 gallon long and a 10 gallon all set up in one of my apartments uh with a dirt, a dirt tank bottom so i had uh actual dirt uh, uh and then i uh would before i did it to do the, the substrate i would uh strain that's it strain the dirt uh get all the uh, crap out and then just just nice high quality uh dirt i would put that at the bottom of the tank a couple inches and then rocks <laughs> up on top a couple inches uh, of gravel rather um, and then plant those those motherfuckers right in there and they would grow like crazy oh well, now that's not recommended uh, for a regular tank because though it is a nightmare to hold your tank with uh, dirt in it. it it is an absolute nightmare uh, shout out to uh, Dustin's fish tanks um, I think I was right up there with them like he was number one ranked and I was like maybe two or three at some point uh, I know I know he knows who I am. I know who he is, and I got a lot of love for him. Uh, he does great things for the uh, aquatic industry, uh, but I, I, that that's just not for me. Like it's it's not for me. And I didn't have any fish in that tank. I only had snails uh, in the shop tank. Um, and I'll put actually you know what I'm going to put a picture of the shop tanks right here on the screen to kind of show you guys that. And I did the uh, the sales for a while of aquatic uh, fish, or I'm sorry, aquatic. Um, shrimp i actually did shrimp for a couple a little while and then uh live plants i did that for a couple months i was actually a registered uh through Flor the state of florida a registered aquatic nursery so i was legit above board I had the guy come out to my apartment and, and inspect my tanks and all that I, maybe i have the uh oh you know what i probably do have the picture of the nursery uh certificate i'll try to find it if i can i'll throw it up on the screen but um anyway um, at one point I had, I believe it was 12, 12 fish tanks. Um, you'd have to go back to my other archives channels. I believe it was 12 tanks. Uh, cause what, what, what I did was I had a two bedroom apartment. I lived by myself, my dog, um, you know, obviously a bedroom on one side and then a fish tank, a fish room on the other side, which is one of my dreams. And, um, I turned that into a big fish room, you know, covered you know, you do a 360 spin, all you see is tanks. Um, and each of them had individual things. One was like a community. One was a shrimp tank. One was for um, isolation. Um, so basically, there was nothing in it, but it was ready to go if, in case uh, one of the fish was sick or attacked. They need to get in there. It's almost like a hospital tank. People have made fun of me for having that, actually, <laughs> when I had it. You got a hospital tank. But, yeah, they don't, they don't get it. They're not hardcore. Um and uh, i had like a um a uh cichlid tank where i was breeding uh convict cichlids and uh a 30 gallon tall that had uh like i don't know 12 or 15 convict cichlids in 
in there to breed. Uh, that that were that I'm sorry that were bred and they were in there to grow, um, stay out isolated and just grow. They also had a grommy tank. Grommies are one of my favorite uh, fish because uh, they're real calm, real chill. That's that those are cool. Uh, I had a grommy tank and I got this close to breeding them. <laughs> and my I've never had any luck breeding them. I had this close to breeding them, man. But um. My pride and joy is my 55-gallon African cichlid tank, Mabuna. I have mostly, I had mostly Mabunas in there. Um, gorgeous fish. And I'm going to do a video here shortly on um, the best tank mates for African cichlids and also best live plants for African cichlids. Because uh, there's a lot of misinformation uh, out there about those two, what you can keep with those and all that, live plants and stuff. So I'm going to do in depth on those coming very soon in the next couple of days and then also we of course have uh every saturday upload a video uh species saturday i just did the um uh, white skirt tetra this guy right there <laughs> um and i'm going to show you guys the tank just in a second like an in-depth look at what i have and what's all in it and stuff when i'm done um but i just wanted to kind of reintroduce myself man um i am I, I don't want to call myself an expert, but believe me when I when I tell you I've done hours and 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 hours times 50 on aquatics and breeds, uh, what they like, what they don't like, how they thrive, fish, um, all, all breeds of live plants. You know, lighting fixtures, what's the best food to give them different species to make their color pop and make them more active. Um, it's just, uh, just I'm not even going to toot my own horn here because it's, it's going to sound like BS. But just let me tell you, if you have a question, go to my Instagram, um, contact me there. Uh, I'm, I'm setting up NicosAquatics.com. Just as like a reference, uh, uh, articles being written there and everything. So go there soon. Uh, I'll, I'll announce when it's officially open. Uh, or just drop it in the comments, man. Drop it in the comments. I am happy, happy to help you. I'm and, and believe me, if there's something I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. So um, that's about it, guys. Um, I oh, and also I don't do anything with um, salt water. I, I know nothing about salt water. Uh, a little bit of brackish, but as far as salt water goes, no, I don't, um, I don't know those at all. And this, just to give you an idea how much research I do, uh, I did this on my break at work. I mean, obviously you can't read it, but, um, this is for one video. And this isn't even all of it. <laughs> this is for my next video, uh, African Cichlid Tick, uh, <laughs> African cichlid uh, tank baits and um, and uh, a lot of people don't think that uh, you could be um, you could put other fish that are not cichlids in with cichlids. I was going through some of my old videos, just kind of getting inspiration. Man, I loved my African cichlid tank, man. Oh man, I can't even explain to you how much I loved that tank. And I'll put pictures uh, up on the screen here, but. I was just going through and I, and I noticed some old comments that I, I didn't see. Uh, one of them is, uh, good luck keeping tiger barbs with uh, mabunas, you know, cichlids. Other guy said, oh, look, yeah, uh, they'll make a nice meal for the cichlids. I'm like, man, what the f And I had those. Okay, I'll get into that. I'll get into all that in my next video. Um, this is going a little long. It's about 14 minutes. So um, first off, thank you guys for checking out the channel. I'm no, I know I'm right at the bottom here. I got like five subscribers or something. My other channel had almost 3000. Um, but I, the, the, you guys will come as the content keeps getting put out. And this is something I love. And hopefully you as a viewer can see just how much I love this stuff and how much I take it seriously. Uh, so, um, again, thank you very much. God bless. Uh, please be safe out there guys with this stupid COVID-19 crap. Uh, click the like button if you liked it, um, and subscribe. And if you got a question, drop it in the box. Thank you guys so much. Peace. God bless. Stay wet. Oh, and shirts are on their way as well. Shirts are on their way. Thank you. Goodbye.